Hi guys, Nick here from Intuitive Tennis. Today I want to show you three different ways to toss the ball on the serve. One way to bring the toss arm up uh, into the release is the parallel toss arm technique. And this technique is used by Ivo Karlovic, uh, Roger Federer and Pete Sampras. And basically what it is, is if we bring uh, both the racket arm and the tossing arm uh, back together, uh, we end up somewhere around here. Now, as the toss arm goes up into the release, it travels parallel to the baseline. And this is great for several reasons. Number one reason is the skies. As I throw this ball up uh, parallel to the baseline, the ball will arc, uh, in this case, it's right to left. And usually it's tossed in a way where it's simply going to drop uh, in right around uh, 12 o'clock. And maybe a little bit further towards 11 o'clock on uh, kick serves. But most good players uh, have a way to hit all serves from the 12 o'clock position. So as the ball is uh, arcing into this slot right here it's a big disguise because the, there's no difference between uh, the slice serve uh, the kick serve or the flat serve because the ball always travels uh, right to left and therefore it's impossible to read by the opponents another advantage of this tossing action is that as we bring the arm up parallel to the baseline we immediately get a a shoulder turn or a coil uh, see, it's very difficult to not turn as my arm goes up into this direction. Uh, naturally, uh, as we bring this arm up, we already start getting a little bit of a, of a coil uh, to make this toss possible in the first place. Uh, so as we go up here, we immediately get a, a shoulder turn like this, and this is a big advantage. I do not recommend this technique to recreational players, as it's difficult to throw the ball inside the court. What needs to happen at the very end stage of the toss is that the arm has to go slightly forward like this uh, to be able to bring the ball inside the court. Uh, recreational players will have a gr uh, hard time uh, getting the ball to go forward. In addition to that, uh, many recreational players will also simply uh, throw the ball uh, too far to the left this way uh, and they have to develop a great feel to be able to bring the ball to curve into the 12 o'clock position. I almost compare it to shooting a, a sky hook in basketball. Uh, we don't want this ball to continue traveling all the way over to the left, but we want it simply to curve and then fall right down into the 12, 12 o'clock position uh, like this. And this can be a big challenge for recreational players. However, on the advanced level, uh, if you can perform uh, this type of toss, uh, it can be a big advantage uh, because of its disguise and because of its immediate uh, shoulder turn. Another way to toss the ball is the diagonal tossing technique. And this happens to be the most popular uh, toss technique worldwide. Uh, this is used by uh, Milos Raonic, Goran Ivanišević, uh, Serena Williams, John Isner, and many, many others. And it looks something like this. Uh, the tossing arm would basically go along the front foot uh, towards the right net post on right-handers, and it'll go into the court this way. That's the diagonal toss technique. The advantage of this technique is it can still provide you with some disguise. As the arm is going to the side, you can still get uh, some curve into your toss with relative ease. And also, if you prefer uh, to hit the serve a little bit more towards the right, uh, let's say around 1 o'clock, it's very easy to get the ball to um, end up on the right side of the body. In addition to that, it's also uh, fairly easy to throw the ball in front because the arm is going into the court right away. And if we get to let it go uh, at the right time, it guarantees us to have the toss go inside the court.
And the final way to toss the ball is the straight forward uh, tossing technique. Uh, this toss technique is used by some of the greatest female uh, servers of all time. Uh, Sabina Lisicki and Karolina Pliskova both use this technique. And even some men, uh, such as uh, Robin Söderling and Jeremy Chardy, uh, use the straight forward uh, toss technique. And it looks something like this. Basically, the tossing arm uh, will not go to the side. It will go straight in this way, like this. And this makes it almost impossible to throw the ball backwards. Uh, the only way you can throw it backwards from this position is if you end up with a bent arm like this. But if you keep the arm somewhat straight, it makes it almost impossible uh, to throw it behind you. The one disadvantage of this tossing technique is the poor disguise. Uh, so if I throw the ball uh, straight in like this, there's going to be absolutely no curvature on this toss. It's going to be a straight up and down toss. And now if I want to change uh, the direction of this toss, and let's say I'm going to throw it a little bit to the left on a kick serve, it's very easy to pick up because my arm will go um, towards the left. If I want to throw it towards the right, maybe for a slice, uh, my arm is going to go slightly towards the right. So the opponent can uh, pick this up very easily. However, I want to add that on the professional level, uh, many of the players can perform all serves uh, from the same position. So this might not be uh, that much of a disadvantage on a professional tour. Another disadvantage of this uh, serve is that um, if you want to coil on your serve, you have to do it in a later, later stage of the serve and this might be tricky for some players. So if I uh, throw the ball in here, it's very difficult for me to turn this way. Uh, so I will have to do that at a later stage on the serve. So I would have to toss it and then coil later and this might be a, a problem uh, with timing. There might not be enough time for some players uh, to turn and coil at a later stage. Uh, so it's much easier uh, for the diagonal uh, style and the parallel style because uh, when we throw the ball this way we immediately get a little bit of a shoulder turn uh, where here we have to keep the upper body uh, completely sideways and the coil uh, must come later. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment in the section below. I'll be happy to answer. I'll see you next time.